Buttercup Dragon Mac and Cheese. What up, Buttercup? I promised you guys that I was going to show you my garden, so let's do this. <laughs> um, I arrived back in Ecuador. Um, I, gosh, was it Monday morning or Tuesday morning? I don't even remember. I think it was Tuesday morning. And got started on my garden that day. I'll show you guys what I've done. So first I'm going to show you over here because this is the boring part. So this was flush up here. I'm going to walk in the mud for you guys. This was flush with this here and it was causing the water to flood up onto the patio. So I dug all this uh, down. This is all going to get filled with pea gravel, but for right now I've got some um, seed, some grass seed, just to <coughs> stop the mud. Um, this right here, this whole thing, that was a trench. And I filled the trench in with all of this. Now what was happening is that the trench was gathering the water. It was pretty deep. This trench was ridiculously deep. So the trench was gathering the water and then more water was gathering up over there. So now it's all graded out this way. Um, got the gate up, yay! <laughs> all right, now for the fun stuff. At the side of the yard. You guys see where I patched up all the holes in the wall? That is holes he put on, in the wall, it's ridiculous. So the fence, the, the um, chain link fence has come out, as you can see. And then this fence has gone up. Uh, I think the last time you guys saw it was right here. So all of this has gone up. My neighbor built this thing here. I'm not too happy about all of that. I need all of this completely finished because my neighbors keep coming. And I'll show you, I'm gonna post up a picture right here. So they keep coming and just staring at me right here and just watching me in my backyard. It's super creepy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that fence. Um, all right. So the garden. The, the garden. All right. Let's see. We've got the blueberries here and I'm going to put a cover around my blueberries. I've got um, a line, a soaker line, and then that hose goes all the way back over to the house so I had to like dig this it's hard to point at stuff I had to dig this I'm not a weather girl <laughs> this house. I'm about to move all of this wood out of the way so yes I built all of these these three boxes here I built and then moved these things um, the dirt is coming from over here I don't know if you guys remember this mound but this thing was probably about like my mid calf and has been slowly dug down. Um, I filled these containers here with them and you guys can see it's just full of rocks. So what I have to do is I have to sift through um, all the dirt and pull the rocks out, which I've been doing as you can see around here around the edges is where I'm just tossing all the rocks. That's hard. So over here I have planted onions, radishes, herbs, and then over here is peppers and tomatoes. This is the peach tree. And then you guys can get a better look of what the heck is happening here. I bought them. I, I bought I bought all the wood to finish this and they didn't. They didn't finish it. They just went that far and was like, I'm keeping the rest of the wood. So no. You see these posts? These posts where are they? Right right here. I'm gonna put those posts up and finish that up. So, you know, if, if you wanted a half fence right here, I'd advise you to not come and peek over my fence all the time. <laughs> these are really cool. I'm a little better. Um, these are really cool. So you fill this up with water here. Like this one, this one's done. Like this. And then it waters, waters your stuff. So got those going now this is where the chicken coop is going to go back over here and I've had to level all this and I built this thing this here is pretty cool it's got compost of course I need to put all the metal on it this lifts up here 
as you can see, so all of these come out so I can clean it. Then you've got your your hen hen nest, whatever it's called. Ow. And I'm gonna put metal flooring in here. These are gonna go in a slant, but I'm not gonna put these up until, so these will kind of go to slant, so that the eggs roll down into that gap. You see that gap down, where's, where's a good place? Yeah, here. So the eggs roll down in there. And, do think? See? And yeah, there's no bottom to it because I'm gonna put wire mesh down there when that comes in. So that's been, that's been stitched together. Here's the ramp for the chickens to get into it. And then here is the actual chicken run. Now I need to put the metal around it. I can't put it in here until I get the metal around it, which is gonna make it super heavy and I have to have my friends come and help me move this whole thing once I get all the metal um, hardware cloth around the outside of it. It's gonna be super heavy. So I'll have them help me wiggle it into there whenever it's all said and done but i should have that all complete by probably like sunday evening something like that that i'll have it all done so this is my garden <laughs> i'm pretty happy with it guys it's it's really turning out just to kind of give you a quick little look and yeah like i said i'm about to move the rest of this wood and this is this is i'm excited this is my little space Happy quarantine.